Cameron, thanks so much for coming by the studio. It's a pleasure to be here with you. So you wear a couple of different hats around the early learning, uh, community development, advancement areas. Let's talk first about BCDI DC and your role there. What's, tell me about the community and what's your key mission uh, in that role? Yeah, so I serve as the president of the Black Child Development Institute of the District of Columbia. It's actually a new role. We just reestablished the affiliate. Um, so the, the main goal of BCDI DC ties into the mission of NBCDI, which is to create communities and enhance the development opportunities, whether that's in education, health, for, uh, for black children in the, uh, in the areas. And what inspired the revitalization of the affiliate? I had the pleasure of being in the policy fellowship uh, with NBCDI, which was an amazing transformative leadership opportunity for me. And being so integrally connected with NBCDI at the time, and then knowing that the affiliate had not been uh, active for, um, you know, for a, a few years, I think it was really important for me and some others to work together to reestablish it, just to make sure there's a level of advocacy, programming, and, um, and uh, policy work that's being done in, in the district. And what are some of the key issues going on? Tell me about the community. What makes now a, a particularly important moment to restart uh, the NBCDI division in DC? Definitely, so there's a, a few things. One, when we look at what's going on nationally uh, as it relates to uh, education for, for children, across the spectrum, but specifically black children, there's a great need for the affiliate in DC to be able to speak on behalf of the national organization, but also um, uh, kind of with that local perspective. Mm -hmm. uh, but then also we, when we look at the advocacy that's happening for the workforce, for early childhood educators and ensuring like pay equity, uh, it's really important. I think DC continues to like lead the way and ensure like what's happening here doesn't just stay here, and it you know it it expands to other uh, to, to states and other cities. And obviously, you are in the district. You are in an environment where getting your message out, there's the potential that it could reach federal policymakers. And that's the goal, right? I think. Uh, what DC Council and so many other stakeholders in Washington, D.C. Washington, have been able to do on behalf of early childhood education has been incredible from um, like mentioning the pay equity to uh, ensuring that uh, early childhood educators have full schol tuition scholarships to uh, obtain their um, associates, bachelors, and even higher uh, education degrees. It's extremely important that everywhere else, uh, every other city, every other community has those same opportunities. Yeah, pay equity is a topic I'm hearing a lot about at the conference. And we say it's something important, mm -hmm. then that's something that perhaps needs to be addressed, doesn't it? Certainly, we have to make the investment into um, not only the children, but when we talk about the children, I think uh, individuals oftentimes forget about people that are day to day working to ensure that the children have a better quality of life have a better educational experience and what I've found is it's really difficult or it's challenging when um, you know when we center conversations around the children which we should but um, the educators the individuals that you know have families as well are yeah. often, oftentimes forgotten so yeah they're the ones we put our children in their hands every day exactly now uh, this is not your only role <laughs> you are also chief operating officer of the Southeast Children's Fund. Yes, sir. What is that organization? So Southeast Children's Fund is a nonprofit organization. It was found, founded by Ms. Francis J. Rollins in 1994. And since then, it has been one of the largest providers of um, workforce development opportunities, such as the Child Development Associate Program in the district. And then also have had several child care facilities uh, in the Southeast area, but also in other areas of uh, Washington, D.C. And what are you hearing from parents? What do they need most? Um, they need support, they need guidance. Uh, when looking at like the development of young children, it, it, we can't just look at what it looks like while they're in the center or when they're in the classroom, but um, it's so important for them to have wraparound services. And the reason why I just, the reason why I'm so connected to the organization, but also it's important for us to continue to expand the work that we do, because we focus not just on the child while they're in the classroom, but also ensuring that, that parents and families have those wraparound services. Well, there's a lot of work to be done. Thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for coming by the studio. Thank you. I appreciate it.